one of the rituals that I did was, um, of course, the and getting my mind mentally prepared for the show and just blocking everything out. I'll go over my songs. I'll watch the videos of previous rehearsals, um, previous rehearsals and just keeping my mind stayed on the track and uh, focusing in on what I'm about to do and blocking out everyone else and everything else. So for me, um, the most important thing, of course, above all is to pray. For me personally, um, in my religion and Christianity, um, I definitely was like one with God because I'm like, I need you to get through this song. It was a difficult song um, trying to I'll tap into my emotions and allow people to feel what I'm feeling and be vulnerable in that moment. Um, so I definitely wanted to not mess it up. So prayer was one prayer is one of my rituals is the first ritual, of course, warming up. Um, and then really studying the song, breaking down the part of each word and lyric so that I can really tell the story like it needs to be told. For me, a ritual on show day um, is definitely taking some time to just talk to God, to pray, but then also to um, get support from my family. So the first thing I do in the morning is I'm calling my wife, I'm calling my parents, I'm having them pray with me. And then usually if I can sneak in a little moment before I have to get ready to go on stage, I'm calling my wife again so we can just kind of talk and you can kind of bring me back and we can have a moment of prayer together. So definitely it's just I think that's the the biggest key for me is just to, to get my head in the zone, get clear and focus on the song and to focus on um, who who's important in my life. I'd say the um, the most, what are you doing? Are you showing? I'm reading something. Oh, sorry about that because I don't know how to read it. That wasn't in the lunchbox. Oh, no, oh okay. it was not. Well, lunchbox. she's provided it. Okay. Um, I think that we can all agree that the best thing in the lunchbox was the Grethers pastilles. They're these little gummies that are the greatest thing ever, and we eat them like candy. All of Team Ariana always has. Um, those are the greatest. And also, and what was the? Oh, and when I came down with laryngitis, well, I texted Ariana and I said I'm scared because my throat hurts, and within two seconds she. FaceTime me and was talking to me and was um, figuring out how to get me to a doctor's appointment. And so she was like super supportive of me. She texted me about it all the time and um, talked to me about it all the time. And yeah, she was, she really was caring about it. And she was always asking for updates and asking me to send her like voice memos and she's great. Yeah. Uh, for me, it was uh, a little ingredient that she added sort of to a supplemental lunchbox and it's uh, some sort of honey concoction and it's definitely doing the trick you put this in your tea and it's it's heaven and uh, you know the love with which she sends that to all of us is just really appreciated well my mentor and teacher dr lula hedgeman she changed so many people's lives. So many students came through that Olden High School uh, under her program. And for a moment, you know, it brought all of us together, you know, just to see her image, you know, on TV. And, you know, a lot of people have sent in messages about they, they, they felt like that was absolutely the perfect person for me to dedicate anything to. She's even my family. Because outside of my parents, of course, they gave me everything I needed, but she was that outside person that helped build the, my foundation. So, I, um, so I'm thankful for that. I hope that people felt the meaning of the song. Um, the reason why it's so special between my dad and I is because, I mean, word for word, these are morals and beliefs and um, just thought processes that my dad has raised me to have and um, whether it's my dad tell me don't forget to look up or as long as you did your best then that's all you can do and working hard for what you for what you want and treating everybody like a friend um, just a lot all this stuff I think the world can make you bitter or, or break your heart but I think um, the message behind this song I'm sure I, I hope that there's that the people who 
needed to hear something like this tonight who maybe don't have a dad to do that the way I'm blessed to have had that, that maybe that message could have encouraged them or um, inspired them in, in some way to, to not let the world get the best of you. Um, I definitely hope that the uh, the message that the song you know uh, is 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 trying to teach uh, hits home with the people. Um, my my grandparents, you know, always always were on me, especially my grandmother was always on me, you know, about you know becoming a man that you know has good standards and good morals and. Um, you know, isn't just all talk, but, you know, it's congruent with their, you know, actions and the words that come out of their mouth. And so, you know, I, I try my best to, to show love to everybody. I try to be, you know, as kind as I can be, you know, to everybody. Um, not to say I haven't been done wrong in my life, but, you know, regardless, you know, I'm pretty sure we've all been there. But um, just like the song says, you know, we need to find a way to, you know, just spread more love. And, you know, I kind of, I pray that, you know, that's, that's what, you know, was, was received by the people that, you know, Hey, we, we all need more love in the world. You know, we got enough, you know, anger, frustration, hate, and all the other stuff that's, you know, in the world, you know, if we could just show somebody some love, you know, it would just, it would make a difference. 